Let's do another makeup look using makeup we haven't, I haven't visited in a while. Uh, I have on the uh, Pop Face Magnet Primer and the regular Estee Lauder Double Wear, not the one that's the Double Wear Water Nude. Um, the color is 2W. I have it, I even used it under my eyes and on my lids. Um, let's do a, a green look. Look, I'm going to do the, uh, Dolce & Gabbana, no, Urban Decay Matte Metal Palette. It's got some greens in it. Um, Let's, I'm going to take my same brush that I used in the last, this one's an E35. I may have called it an E45 last time. I'm going to take Suede from this palette. And brush it along my transition area here. The look I did yesterday held up really nice. The uh, Matte Velvet Foundation by Makeup Forever stayed matte and looked really pretty and fresh right until the end of the day. I was sad to take it off. All right. Uh... Let's do the corner look next. I'm going to take, oh, this color is beautiful, moss. I'm going to use my magnifying mirror so I can see what I'm doing. Yes, I am letting my, uh, I'm letting my outfit inspire my look. Again, and I'm carrying it all through the crease. And let's be snappy with it so the camera doesn't overheat. I think that's pretty thus far. As far as I know, right? Next, I'm going to take this color. It's called Fringe. It's also a matte. It's kind of a, it's a kind of a pinky peach. It's not, it's not so peach that it's orange. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to take this green pencil that I used yesterday, the shanty, and run that underneath. Let's do our eyebrows. I'm gonna do my eyebrows. Y'all do it. Y'all watch. How about that? You just relax and have your coffee. Oh dear. I can't find my special brow brush. Found it. It's 
And again, I'm just going to fill in my brows. Not going to make a big deal about it. I took the darkest color from this palette and put it on the tail. That one. Alright, and there's the brush I used. I'm going to use the ABH Brow Glue. I'm going to use the Graphic Black on my tight line. I'm running it, I'm getting it up in those lashes good. And I'm coming from the underside so I don't get it on the top lid, on, the, on my lid because I don't want my eyes to look smaller. There, I kept, I, I tried to keep it off my lid and just put it on my, and just put it on my tight line. All right, let's get some more color on the transitional, well, I'm going to use the suede to down lower. I'm going to use something a little bit damp on my brow bone. This is a concealer brush. It's a, it's random. I'm going to put that right underneath my brow. I'm using the IT Cosmetics. It's just CC plus I with the metal tip thing on the end. And I'm going to put this under the brow. Make it a little bit sticky. I'm going to take bone, no, I'm going to take linen. It is a bright white in this kit, in this matte metal kit. Yes, I have been liking a bright, bright under eye lately. So tomorrow night is Friday night. Y'all probably won't see this until after the week after we've already been to the movies. But uh, we're hoping they've released something decent for this weekend. The pickings last week were, were stinky. We did enjoy Flatliner though. That was fun. Okay, I'm going back in with the green again. Carrying it underneath. I'm going to take tinsel and put it on my tear duct. I think that I think that's the only glittery thing that I've used so far is the tinsel. All right, let's do an under eye. This is another it cosmetic product. This one is bye bye under eye. The other one was CC. 
I. Okay, so let's put a little bit of this on. Make sure my pinkies. I'm gonna warm it up real good. It's pretty pretty thick. Why am I using this instead of the Maybelline? Because I wanted to change it up a bit, right? There we go. That's the Bye Bye Under Eye. I didn't put much on it, obviously. I'm going to use the uh, Chanel Braun Universal Soleil Tan de Chanel. Let's do it again. I'm going to use the Pure Sponge. It is um, not wet because I'm not getting up to go wet it. And it doesn't make it any softer anyway. I'm just going to use it for the application. I'm going to use the pointy end to draw the thing across my nose. All right, now I'm going to buff those down. This is my uh, Real Tex Techniques blush brush, blush brush, and I ha always use it for bronzing. So it has some bronzing residue on it. Probably mostly Ritual. All right. I really did enjoy using Last Dance as my highlight yesterday. This one is a plum. See, I used... Let's use this one today. This one is the faux pas. This is a, one of these brushes from My Makeup Kit, MyMakeupSet.com. The company that wanted me to order what I wanted and do a review on it. And then I never heard from them again because I guess they didn't like my review. I do not know. I didn't go on and on about them enough. Um, mascara. Let's curl the lashes. I'm going to curl, like I said before, y'all enjoy your coffee and I'll curl my lashes. I don't know why I kept, keep using the group, the group pronoun. Because I know you're neither following, do, I know you're not doing your makeup along with me. Uh, we'll use the, the Fonsi Mascara again. I don't have any problem with this, uh, transferring during my workout. Okay, mascara applied. Uh, let's do the highlight. I'm going to use Last Dance again. Let's put, uh, 
I'm going to put something shiny on the end of my nose. I'm going to use this Sephora light beam. I'm going to put that on my the Sephora light beam on my Cupid's bow too. Let's, I'm going to use the uh, stone pencil again. I liked it yesterday. Now I'm going to soften the line. This color is Urban Decay Requiem. I'm going to use that. Ooh. My pencil got covered up. All right, let's do something bright in the center. This is Bite Framboise. Framboise. I think that means raspberry in French. Ugh. So this is. Uh, using the matte metal palette and uh, mostly mattes, which is a departure for me. And using an eyeshadow as a highlight. I hope you enjoyed this little visit. Y'all have a great weekend and I'll catch you soon.